Originally, they hadn't planned on writing an entirely new constitution. The original task was to simply revise the Articles of Confederation. Articles of what? The Articles of Confederation, silly. The nation's first document of government before the Constitution. But it soon became clear that during the convention that an entirely new national government needed to be constructed because the first one was far too weak. Why? Well, most of the power was left to the states who were in constant disagreement and worried about protecting their own interest. In the beginning, the United States was far less united than they are today. In fact, they were like 13 different countries. The government of Rhode Island didn't even send a delegate to the convention. Georgia was about to declare war on the Creek Indians. Hey, hey, Papa, hey, help me, help me. <laughs> and the state of New York was speaking to the Viceroy of Canada with thoughts of seceding from the Union. Because of all this, in 1787, the government was on very shaky ground. The chair recognizes George Mason, the delegate from Virginia. Gentlemen, I believe the Constitution should be prefaced with a Bill of Rights. And I would second a motion if made for the purpose. It would give great quiet to the people. And with the aid of the state declarations, a bill might be prepared in a few hours. Now, you have to understand that this is one of the hottest summers on record in Philadelphia. Because of this, these delegates didn't want to spend a second more in this assembly hall. Besides, they made a poor fashion choice for this sort of thing. But they had written a constitution, and it was ready to be sent out to the states to be ratified. They didn't want to think about a bill of rights. For the laws of the federal government will be paramount to the laws and constitutions of the states, and the declarations of rights in the separate states are no security. I so move that a committee prepare a Bill of Rights. I second the motion. Now, this could have stretched out the convention even longer, particularly if Patrick Henry, one of the Constitution's strongest opponents, had been in Philly at the time. You see, he had been known to make speeches lasting up to seven hours. That's just way too long. <laughs> 